We are at the monastic site of Castle Dermot in County Kildare. It was established in the 9th century by Saint Dermot, so it is called Dermot's Hermitage. It is also known as Disha di Armada in association with the ascetic reform movement of the Caldis. We are approaching the North Cross, one of the two granite crosses erected here after 812. The cross is 3 meters and 12 centimeters high. So that one is the North Cross. Here it's the western west face uh, because we can see Adam and Eve which is the Old Testament scene. So we can see Adam and Eve um, under the tree of life and Eve, which is on our left, is handing on the fruit to Adam, yes? On the left, we have a seated figure with, who is like a David playing the harp, very worn out scene. And here we have the test, Old Testament scene with Abraham killing, trying to kill Isaac. So this is an altar, Isaac, Isaac is bent over and just above Isaac's head there is a ram which is offered instead of this, of this uh, sacrifice. Yes? And here above we have a very uh, unique scene and quite um, unidentified because we have two figures on the left and right and just in the middle there is upside down figure. So we don't know who is this, but upside down means that he is either dead or defeated. So maybe two saints are just defeating an evil spirit or a person who is possessed. Okay, here we have three people. They are unidentified as well. We don't know who they are. Some scholars think that they are three children in the fairy furnace, but usually there is also an angel above them. The angel is missing here. Here, here, for example, is Daniel in the lion's den. So we have here four lions in upright position. Okay, and now we are moving to the middle panel with another enigmatic representation that is usually described as the temptation of Saint Anthony of Egypt. He is usually uh, represented on high crosses in Ireland together with Saint Paul in the desert with the raven bringing them bread from heavens. However, there is also a theory that is a representation of Saint Patrick being flanked by two shape-shifting druids, so two pagan priests. Here they are whispering spells to Saint Patrick's ears, but Christianity eventually wins. Now let's take a look on the base of the north side. There is another mysterious representation. This is like a figure that is crouching so it is seated on the on its uh, haunches like that uh, with the right arm or hand uh, placed just uh, halfway up the lower part of the leg yeah like that and here it's not uh, possible to be now seen but here were like a stripes something like that so they could signify yeah this is the head and here, at this side, there were wings. So some scholars say that this is the fallen angel put into the pit in the abyss of hell, uh, defeated because it is at the base and the north side. So possibly this is the fallen angel who was moved to the pit by Archangel Michael <laughs> and chained, chained to the abyss by by the archangel but we don't know some people say this is a very pagan tradition here but we cannot recognize this 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 creature here but it's like a yeah the back like on the haunches like a monkey yeah but here are the wings you see mm. here like the wings which are folded or rather uh, like hatched let's say uh, folded at the back but this is one of the most intriguing figures here. Here there are the spiral, so the decoration. Come here. Oh, this is the south side. So we have cheeses multiplying the loaves of bread. So, so the loaves of bread, five of them, and two fishes. Yeah, so this is the south side. 
and here we can we have also some decorations here as well decorations and actually here there are two figures again we don't know who they are maybe some ecclesiastics and here so not on the other side but here we have the representation of san antoni and san paul sharing the bread now you can see that yeah and the raven is here just flying with the loaf of bread in its beak so here we can for sure say that this is the meeting of san antoni and san paul in the desert here there are again three figures and here as well here as well there are three and just above and in the middle there there is the scene of crucifixion with san uh, stephanos with the sponge with vinegar and san longinus with the spear that is trusting the the heart of jesus so we can say that three people here three people here there and above they represent 12 apostles okay so this is the north cross which is shorter than the other one on the other side so we are now moving to the other side here is the road tower from the 10th century so the crosses are the oldest part of this monastic site and it was actually founded by San Dermot, but it is called also the desert. So possibly it's a reference to Egyptian uh, desert and the Egyptian fathers who lived in the desert in Egypt. <laughs>